Hey guys, Blaine here, and we have 12 McDonald's Happy Meal Pokemon 25th Anniversary Card Packs, and we are going to open them today. Now guys, I bought these at two local McDonald's in Pennsylvania, and they are limiting uh, how many you can buy in addition to a Happy Meal, so I was only able to buy five in addition to the Happy Meal, and they did double the price from $1 to $2, which is fine. So, uh, before you guys uh, jump on me, I know that we want to leave plenty of stock for the kids around. However... If you take a look at these happy kids right here, those are the ones who are actually going to be getting these cards. So these cards are going to be going to some nice happy kids and not uh, this old guy right here. So guys, we're going to hop right into the over the camera, over the uh, hand shot and over the camera because you're on the camera. And we're going to open these up and see what's inside. Uh, I'm so excited to get open these and see what's you know in there already. I haven't even taken a look yet. I know that there's all the starters as hollows, but there are also common cards. And there's also card supply toys in there too. So let's get open to them. Hey everyone, I just want to take a second to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Rollandtoad.com. They're one of the largest retailers for every trading card game, including Pokemon, and are a great choice for all your gaming needs. And if you order today and use the coupon code Bridge4Games, You'll get a discount on your order and help the channel. Okay, back to the video. And we're gonna get over to the new camera angle right now. All right guys, here we are. We're gonna start opening our first pack here. It is a uh, Pikachu, naturally. Uh, it's a blue one. It's labeled number two. There are some that have number one from what I've seen. And on the back, there's no special instructions. So I don't know what this one's gonna be. It does have really pretty art though. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. All right, very cool. So the first thing, it actually opens up like a little portfolio here. And we have our pack of cards. So it features uh, the four Kanto starters. It has the 25th anniversary logo on there. It has four cards inside. And nothing really fancy on the back. Let's take a look at the toy. The actual toy. So this is a... Uh, background, it looks like. We'll use that for shooting. There we go. Look at that. And it also comes with... Whoa. Oh, geez. A bunch of stickers for the background. I think it has all the starters on here. Uh, I do not see the... Okay, it's all the starters up to, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, it's only gens 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and for some reason, Cyndaquil got shafted, and there's only one of them. <laughs> but okay, so it's gen 1 through 4 starters. That's really cool. And there's also what looks like a little bit of like a coloring design on there, too. So that's very cool, guys. We can make our own little scenery thing here with uh, Pikachus and all the starters. So let's get this pack open. Okay, now interesting. The pack is paper, guys. It's not a uh, foil like a normal pack would be. So we start off with our Squirtle. It is a nice hollow foil design, the way they do a lot of, uh, you know, uh, McDonald's foiling cards. Then we have a Grookey, not foil. Tepig, not foil. And Chimchar, very cool. Very cool. Let's get the next one open. Alright, so guys, this one is a number one. Uh, I still don't know what these mean, uh, but this one is one of the Pikachu ones that is one of the white ones. And there's definitely different contents in here. So here's our card pack. And now this one... Oh, okay, guys, so we have... All right, if we look at the information on the back, there actually is instructions on how to build a deck box here. So I'm going to attempt to follow these and actually get that open here. So we take this thing, and uh, I'm not good with directions, so please bear with me here, guys. Oh, okay. So it's got the 25th anniversary logo on there. We fold it into place like such, and then this guy up 
appears to pop open like that. Oh, okay. Oh gosh. My hands are bad. All right. Oh, okay. So then... I'm not entirely sure if that part stays, but I believe you put your cards in like that. And there's your little uh, ad hoc deck box there. Very cool. And you can apparently rotate it around. So you can get different uh, color combos on there if you want. And it's, uh, it goes either way there to hold your cards. That is actually pretty darn cool. Okay. All right, so we got our deck box there and a little maze inside. Um, I think it's connecting the water types and... Oh, Squirtle to Squirtle, Froakie to Froakie. Uh, not the hardest puzzle in the world, but a lot of fun. Okay, let's get our pack opened. Now, guys, Pikachu is one of the uh, chases in the set because it's one of the better ones. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna see, so as we saw the foil is on top, so we're actually gonna put it on the back and take a look at the front. We got another Grookey, okay. Oh, I saw it was green, all right. We got a Sobble. Guys, I played Sword and Shield and I didn't pick so oh, I did pick Sobble, I didn't pick uh, Grookey in either one. But I did like Inteleon, oh, we got Torchic. Oh. That is adorable. I love Torchic, guys. It's one of my favorite starters. And it's a little winking face. Oh my god, it's so cute. Alright, so it's green. I'm gonna guess... Bulbasaur. Hey! Alright! We got Bulbasaur. It goes good with our Squirtle we got. It's got Razor Leaf for 30 damage, 70 HP, and it's got that gorgeous 25th anniversary logo on there, right on there. Beautiful, guys. Alright, let's go into the next one. All right, so now here's something interesting to note, guys. We're opening another one of these ones here, and it's the white one with Pikachu on it. The previous one we opened before, though, I don't know what this means. Um, but if you look, the Pikachu has a different pose uh, on this one than this one. They have the same number. They're both the white one. Um, this one appears to have less of the decal design on it, too. On the backs, both have the deck box. So I'm assuming these are both the deck box toys, uh, but I don't know what it means for anything inside, guys. So, we're going to find out. Um, this one probably has another deck box inside. I'm not going to build that one, because um, we already saw how to do it. Oh, there's a maze. Hold on. We got to get we gotta get Pikachu to the citrus berry. Let's see. This one's a little trickier. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go the other way. Do 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 Did it! Alright, Pikachu got the citrus berry. Everybody's happy. All is right with the world. Um it is the same um deck box guys, so it has the Kanto starters, including Pikachu and as usual uh shafting Eevee. Um and then it also has the little like uh, top part to it with the Pokemon logo. And then Pikachu 25 uh, on the back. And let's go ahead and crack right into the packs. Normally, I don't like to like rip packs open that way, guys. But with it being a paper pack, it's a little uh, more challenging to get a good tear on them here. So I know people are probably watching at home cringing as I'm tearing them that way. But I'd like to see you guys do better when you have a giant Canon camera in front of your face. So we're going to take the top card again, put it in back. Oh, and we got Snivy. You know what? Snivy, like, terrifies me as a Pokemon. Because it grows up and its arms and legs fall off. I don't think that that's really uh, a Pokemon that I would want to be. Oh, we got Squirtle. Squirtle is... Man, so Blastoise gets a little bigger when he grows up, and Squirtle is getting started. He is a chonky boy. Look at that neck. That is a powerful neck. <laughs> Good golly. And we got another one of my winking uh, Torchic here. And let's see the color. It's green. Okay. We already got a Bulbasaur. 
Um, I let me think. Who's my favorite grass starter? I want a church wig. Snivy. Okay, cool. We got a double Snivy in that pack, guys. Snivy, uh, looking pretty, uh, pretty fly here. Rocking the 25th anniversary. And I don't know if you guys can really see this, but there's a nice, like, vine whip design. And it really kind of plays nicely into the fact that Snivy is a giant snake uh, when he uh, evolves. So it's a very, very cool design. And we're going to go ahead and start the next pack opening. All right. So this is another one of the ones where Pikachu is facing to the uh, left. So as we said, guys, uh, it has the deck box again. Um exact same one and the same puzzle so maybe the box design is only indicative of what the like game inside is that would make sense because the other one uh for this pikachu was the uh follow the pipes maze kind of thing whereas this one is the uh maze to the berry so guys we're not gonna do that one again we're also not gonna assemble this because we already did that uh we are gonna go right for the pack here All right, and we got our cards out. Put the good card in back. And you guys, the back of the cards do look perfect. Everything looks good there. Oh, we got our Froakie. You know, when I first heard they were doing a frog Pokemon back in X and Y, I had some concerns because I didn't know how it would look. But man, they really knocked it out of the park with Froakie. It looks fantastic. Then we got Tepig. Oshawott, who was voted the cutest Pokemon in the entire game uh, a few mere sets ago. All right, guys, we got a red one. I mean, look, we, we got to hope it's Charmander, right? We got Bulbasaur and Squirtle. It's Litten. Oh, I love Litten, too. That's good. I love Litten's face. She's like, don't bother me. I'm trying to sleep. No pets. Good night. So, yeah, it's got the... Like all the other ones, the glorious 25th logo there. It also looks like it's actually in a cave by the water, which there were quite a few of those in the Alola region, if anybody else remembers that. Um, and it really is a good environment for Litten to be in. It looks fantastic. And uh, I think it was also very similar to, uh, if you guys saw the episode featuring Litten with its uh, pal Stoutland from the anime, um, they were hiding out in a cave like that. And uh, guys, don't watch that episode unless you want your whole day ruined. Because... Uh, that's a very sad episode, but definitely a good one. So we're going to open up another one here. Uh, spoiler, it's another deck box one. So again, not a whole lot to uh, unpack there. This is the last one of these, so I think the rest of them are going to be a little different. So we'll go ahead and move that. Pikachu, you found the berry three times, buddy. And by the way, is the maze really that hard? We need a solution. Like, are there kids in the back of their parents' cars crying because they can't figure out the maze? Like, <laughs> this wasn't that hard, guys. Granted, I did cheat, but... <laughs> Alright, so we got it open. Oh, we do have a little bit of a... Uh... Interesting note, guys. We do have a little bit of damage on this particular card here. You can see it right there. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. There's a little white there and a little white there. Um, not the end of the world, though. I am going to actually pull this one aside. Just take a look at that one first. So we're going to put the rare one in the back, of course. Now, I want to just pick up this one and see what it was. So it was our Bulbasaur. Um, camera focus, please. Focus, please. There we go. Jeez. I don't know why my camera is having such trouble focusing on Bulbasaur. There we go. All right, so Bulbasaur looks good, but if we look at the back there... Yeah, there are some very minor nicks right there and there. So guys, do keep that in mind that even if it is, uh, you know, packed fresh, it doesn't mean it's near mint. So, we still have Bulbasaur here. It is a common, but it is a very, very cute common, and I'm very happy to have it. So we got Bulbasaur. We got Sobble. We got a Litten non hollow. Red. Red. We're going Charmander again. Tepig. Okay, cool. Alright, Tepig. I love the foil on that. 
you know, Tepig wasn't one of my favorites, but as I've gotten older, he's kind of growing on me a little bit, so that's a great one to have also. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys, I just elbowed my girlfriend right in the stomach as <laughs> she was watching our video here. Uh, all right, so this is the um, next one we have. It's another one of these twos. Don't know what that means. Uh, it is a black cover, though, uh, a little different than the other ones. Now, there's no directions on the back, so this is hopefully not a deck box. All right, so let's get this open. Card pack. Oh, okay. This is another sticker one. I think this is the same as the other one. Let's look at the stickers real quick. Come on. Yeah, okay. It's the uh, Gen 1 through 4 starters. I don't know why they felt the incredible need to, to you know, snub everybody from Gen 5, 6, 7, and 8, but uh, so be it, Pokemon. So be it. All right. And guys, the maze is, uh, oh, it's different Pikachu poses. But uh, it's pretty much the same puzzle, so we're not going to do anything too fancy with that. Let's get these cards opened. And normally I never am a tear across the top guy, but with these packs, I think it's okay. I didn't see what it was. I did see it was red, though, so. We got a fire starter. I'll put it in back. Oh, we got a Bulbasaur again, with those very cute red eyes. Oh, we got our first Fennekin. All right, guys. You know, I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and say this. This could lose us some viewership. It's okay. I, I love Fennekin. I know there's a lot of people that don't like to turn into a Harry Potter fox. But you know what? That's okay. More Fennekin for me. I love this Pokemon. I think it's awesome looking. I actually don't even mind its ear hair thing. I think it's really cute. So... Fennekin, welcome to the party. And we got our Litten. Now, I did see it was red. You know what? I I'm going to go for this for all the haters. I'm going to hope it's Foil Fennekin. Okay, we got another Foil Litten. We'll take that, too. It's another feline here. And uh, we are very happy to have that one. All right. Yeah, now let's go to one of these guys here. We have the blue... Um, pack here. Now the design is very similar to the black one. It has the same like tail design here. And Pikachu's doing a little different pose. Um, he looks like he's blushing a little bit, which is kind of cute. So we have another pack here. Oh, we got more stickers, guys. Oh, let's take a look at this one. It was just the inside design, which is really cute. And I think it's the same stickers. Oh, no, this is the other ones, guys. Okay. So this is actually Jen's um, five through eight. So yeah, we have Oshawa, Snivy, Tapig, Fennekin, Froki, Chespin. I hate Chespin, though. Um, <laughs> Litten, Rowlet, and uh, Popplio, and then Sobble, Scorbunny, and Grookey. These stickers, I gotta say, though, for me, I know these are free, and nobody really cares about these stickers. These have a ton of personality. Look at this. He's giving us the paw. Scorbunny's like, yo, hug it out, bro. Krookie's like, yeah, let's jam. These stickers are really cool. I actually really like these. So props to Pokemon for actually turning out, and uh, excuse me, and uh, McDonald's for actually turning out a reasonably um, decent sticker product there. So let's go ahead and dive right into our pack. Oh my God, they're all the way at the bottom. Okay. Oh, we got our Piplup, and he is winking at us. That's a little uh, unnerving, but it's our little penguin buddy. Come on, autofocus. You can do it. I've seen you focus before. There we go. So we got our Piplup here, and then we got our Chikorita, our first Chikorita. I do like how it's more of like a colored pencil drawing. You don't see that as much on some of these. A lot of these look very computer done, like the Fennekin was very uh, computer modeled, but that's uh, pretty nice for Chikorita, and we have another Litten here, of course. And now, okay, it's blue. Um, let's think, guys. Who do I want to see? I would love to see a Froki. Okay, it's Sobble. I do like Sobble. I really like, too... I don't know if you guys can see this. A lot of the holograms kind of look like teardrops, which is really, really cute, because Sobble's thing is it cries a lot. Um, it has the rainbow there. There's a really, really nice art design they got going on here. It looks really fantastic. All right, let's go back to a black one. 
Oh, now again, guys, we have two different um, black and gray designs here. We have one where Pikachu's kind of jumping, and one where he's doing like a little YMCA pose. I'm going to do the jumping one. And also, I don't know what's in here. It feels a little chunkier. Oh, deck box. That would answer that. Okay. I am eager to see if it's the same deck box or if it's any different. Oh, we have a little stained glass uh, mural here featuring uh, some water starters. Squirtle, Popplio, and Mudkip. That's real cute. Deck box. And do it like a sugar packet. All right, guys, put it uh, top and the back. Shoot. We got Piplup. We got Squirtle. We got a Score Bunny finally. Yes. Okay. Score Bunny looks so fantastic. And let's see what it is in the back. It's green. Okay. Who do I want? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm going to go Grookey. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Well, guys, we got Chespin. Probably the one starter I did not want to get. I just don't get Chespin. I never have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know people are going to hate me for this. But Chespin, we're welcome to have you in the collection. Even though you're not my favorite uh, grass mon. So let's go to another uh, black pack here. Now, it doesn't have the writing on the back. So this is probably not a um, one here. Now, this does have the stickers. Let's see if they're there. One through four, or five through eight. Oh, I see Poplio. They are five through eight. Very cool. Very cool. Add those to the pile of stickers we got. All right, guys. We have got ourselves another Bulbasaur. So it seems like Bulbasaur is actually a very, very common one um, from what I'm seeing here, guys. That's okay, though. We got a Bulbasaur. We got ourselves our Poplio, and oh my gosh, he is so, so happy to be there. Look at that. We got ourselves another Torchic, and we got green Grookey. All right, so, ooh, it's a foil Chikorita. I really like how the foil looks with the uh, hand-drawn image there. It looks really, really cool. And I like how there's a seed growing and little seeds coming off here. That is just an excellent-looking card. All right, guys, we got three left here now that we're going to take a look at. I'm going to switch over to blue. And we'll do this one here of our waving Pikachu friend. No deck box on the back. Which means no deck box inside. All right, we got some stickers. Do we think it's one through four or four through eight? I'm going to guess one through four. Hey, I'm good at this game, guys. All right, so we do have uh, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinomons there. Very nice. And our pretty little backdrop here. All right. We want the cards. Do we want the backdrops? These paper packs are impossible to open. So I don't know if they're cheaper. they got to be cheaper than the foil packs, right? That's why they're in Happy Meals. All right, now, one thing I will notice just by feeling this, the texture feels very different on this one. I don't know what that means. I'm going to compare it to another... I'm going to compare it to that Chikorita. But the Chikorita also feels slightly textured, maybe just like a... A different sheen to it, so we'll see. We got ourselves Gene Simeon's himself, Grookey. We need you to focus. We need you to focus on Grookey camera. There we go. We got ourselves a Grookey, a Tepig, a Torchic, and it's blue. It's blue. I want Froakie. Oh, we like Mudkips, guys. We got ourselves a Mudkip. All right, so Mudkip, of course, coming from the Hoenn region. It's an axolotl. Uh, that's what it's based on. And the flavor text says, to alert it, the fin on its head serves 
senses the flow of water. It has the strength to lift boulders. All right, that is awesome. I love that, guys. It looks so great. It's also kind of a more hand-drawn hand design, too. So that is just a gorgeous-looking Pokemon. All right, guys. Black or blue, black or blue, black or blue. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. So we're going to start with black. Oh, it was worth noting. I didn't notice this before, guys. There is a different backdrop depending on which one you get. So this is probably, I'm going to guess by the palm tree, that this is a 5 to 8 uh, sticker pack. Now let's go ahead and confirm my hypothesis real quick. Oh, uh, my hypothesis was wrong. Go me. All right, it is a one to four kit, but this is a different one than the other one. It does have the palm trees. So looks like there's four uh, backdrops with uh, two different sticker sets, and you can have any uh, mix and match combo of those. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and obviously move the front to the back. We got a Piplup. We got a Cyndaquil. I think this is our first Cyndaquil too, and he looks so happy. Oh my gosh. We got another Score Bunny. And the last one is blue. I'm going Froki, baby. Ooh, Oshawott. That looks so unbelievably cute. Holy cow. I love it. He looks fantastic, especially with the 25th anniversary logo on there. Oh my gosh. Oshawott is just an amazingly cute Pokemon. All right, guys, so we have our last pack here that we're going to open. I should be okay. All right, guys, so we have our last pack here coming. And we're back to this uh, non -tro Oh, this is a tropical one. This is a different one that we've seen. It might be. I'm going to check them at the end, but that's interesting. Okay. What do you think? One through four or four through eight? I'm going to guess four through eight because the last one was one through four. Hey, hey, I see Tap Big. That means four through eight. Sorry, five through eight. Five through eight, not four through eight. It starts with the Unova. Right, guys, I actually never thought I'd say this. I really want to get a Pikachu. Pikachu is one of the harder ones to get in this series, so if I do get one of those, that'd be real cool. Let's turn it over. We got Snivy. We got Cyndaquil. We got Ashawat. And oh, it's green. Okay, guys, who do we want for green? Um, I think I'd still like a Grookey. I'd also really be happy with a Rowlet. Well, alrighty, guys. <laughs> That's how we're going to end our... Uh, uh, recording here uh, with our chessman opening. But guys, we do have a very nice selection of cards that we've opened today, and we're going to go ahead and we will um, definitely um, have a description of all the cards we got for you, along with counts down in the description. And guys, thank you so much for being here for our unboxing of the McDonald's promos. And guys, make sure that you like and subscribe to all the content here on the channel uh, because we have content like this coming up every single day. And we will see you guys in the next one when we are breaking some more McDonald's product. Guys, thank you so much for being here while we broke some McDonald's product. We got all these great foils and we are so happy to have those. Uh, the Munchkins, our kids, are going to be so excited to have these in their collections. And uh, I'm going to head back to McDonald's to get a couple for myself, and it does mean eating some McDonald's Happy Meals, which is a sacrifice I'm willing to make to add these cuties to my collection. And guys, if you like this kind of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. We have new videos coming out almost every day, and it helps us so much if you guys like and subscribe. You have no idea how much it helps the channel. And if you really, really like our content, please make sure that you hit the notification bell so you notice every single time we have a new video coming out. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.